Today we're going to be making this dinosaur caped beanie for a zero to three month old newborn photo. You're going to need two colors of worsted weight yarn and you will need a five millimeter crochet hook. So start out with the color that you're going to be using for the hat. You're going to make a slip knot and place it onto your crochet hook. Now for your foundation, you're going to be chaining two. Working in the second chain from the hook, you're going to do nine single crochet. Last one. All right, once you've done your nine single crochet, go ahead and join to that first chain there with a slip stitch. All right, so row two, we're gonna chain one, and your chain one is gonna start as your count as your first double crochet like usual so we're gonna do two double crochet in each stitch all right so there's two you remember throughout the entire hat that first chain one is gonna count as a double crochet Just got two more double crochet to do here. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 20 double crochet. Then go ahead and join again to the beginning chain. So for round three, chain one, and it's going to be two double crochet in the first and then one double crochet in the next. Again, count that first double cro or that first chain as a double crochet. And we're just going to repeat that pattern around two double crochet in the next stitch. One, 
one double crochet in the next, two double crochet, one double crochet, Again, we're just going to keep doing that all the way around till you get back to the end there and you should have a total of 30 double crochets in this round. There's our last stitch, so we're going to join here. And there we've got three rounds complete. To start the fourth round, we're going to do a chain one again, and our pattern will be two double crochet, and then one double crochet in the next two stitches. So here's one, one double crochet in the next. Now two double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, So just continue with that pattern of two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. And you'll have a total of 40 stitches in this round.
go ahead and join to finish out the round. Again, you should have a total of 40 stitches in this round. So we have one more small increase in the next round. So chain one, we're gonna do two double crochet in the first stitch. Then we're gonna do one double crochet in the next nine stitches. And we'll repeat that pattern. So we're only having four increases in this round for a total of 44 stitches. is done. So I've got all of my increases done and I'm just going to finish out this round. Again, at the end of round 5, you should have a total of 44 stitches. Then we're going to go ahead and join to the beginning to finish out that round. Now that was our last increase round. So from now on we're going to be doing one double crochet in each stitch around for a total of 44 stitches per round.
so that's the end of round six. And I'm just going to continue around with round six through thirteen. Will be one double crochet in each stitch around. I went ahead and finished all thirteen rounds. So now I'm going to finish off and cut my yarn. Now, using the same color, we're going to make the cape part that's going to lay down that newborn's back to make a really cute um, newborn photography prop. So from our joining our off, ugh, our fastening off spot, we're going to count seven spaces over because what we want is that seam where we joined each round, we want that to be in the center of the hat. That way we're going to put our spikes right there and you'll never know that there's a seam there. So join seven stitches away and do a chain one. For row one and two, we're going to do double crochet in 14 stitches. So counting our chain one, we'll have a total of 15 stitches. And I went ahead and finished those two rows. So for row three, we're going to skip the first stitch, making a decrease. And then we will double crochet across for a total of 14 stitches. So throughout this entire cape, we're going to be decreasing by one stitch every other round or every other row. So row three here is a decrease. chain one and turn. Row four is going to be a regular row. So do one double crochet in each stitch across for a total of 14 stitches. the next row we're going to skip one and do a double crochet in the next 13 stitches. chain one and turn. The next row is a regular row, which is double crochet in each stitch.
So again, we're just gonna keep doing this. Every other row, we'll skip one to make a decrease. And then the last three rows are gonna be one in each. So once you've finished all 19 rows, we're gonna do a border. So do not cut your yarn here. As you can see, the edges are kind of um, uneven and not really a professional finished look around. So we're gonna go ahead and do our border here. So go ahead and do a chain one. And from this point, we're gonna do a single crochet around the entire hat. There's not a specific number. Just place them where they look like they should go and where they look good. You don't want it to be too tight. If it, if it starts to pull and look too tight, then do more single crochets. So I went ahead and finished my border and this is what the hat is going to look like. Alright, so now we're just going to set this aside and work on our spikes. So grab whatever color you're going to be using for the spikes and join do a slip stitch and put it or a slip knot and put it onto your hook. We're going to start out again with a chain 2. Working in that furthest chain from the hook, we're going to do 6 single crochet and join to form a circle. then go ahead and join when you've completed that. Now I'm going to use another piece of yarn to mark the beginning of my row. So chain one to start your second row. Now it's completely up to you. You don't need to use a stitch marker here. I just am going to because on camera it's hard for me to um, see sometimes where my row start and end when they're so tiny when I'm working with such a small piece. So for round two I'm going to chain one and we're going to do one single crochet in the first and then two single crochet in the second and we'll repeat that pattern around. So one double or whoa, one single crochet in the next. I'm so tongue-tied in this video. <laughs> two single crochet here one single in the next two single crochet here and then we're gonna go ahead and join with a slip stitch there to that beginning chain one. All right, and then I'm just gonna pull my stitch marker out. All right, so here is after your first couple rows. The next row, again, we're going to chain one, and I'm going to put my little stitch marker in here. So we're going to do a single crochet in the first, and then two single crochet 
or one single crochet in the next two. One single crochet here, one single crochet. Two single crochet in the next. I keep completely messing up what I'm supposed to say. I'm so sorry if I'm confusing you guys. One single crochet in the next two. And two single crochet in the next. And that will finish up this round. So then you will join with a slip stitch to that beginning chain. I usually try to do my video editing while my little ones are asleep, but they have woken up from their nap, and so my mind is kind of juggling right now to finish this. But I want to get this done today, so I'm going to just keep going. We're going to move on to the next round. So here in round four, it's going to be one single crochet in the first three stitches here. So here's one. Here's two and three, and then we're going to do two single crochet in the next. One single crochet in the next three stitches. Two single crochet in that last one. All right, just continue doing one single crochet in the next three. And two single crochet here. Once you've completed your round, Again, we're going to join. Alright, so for round five, you're going to do one single crochet and then next four stitches and then two single crochet then you'll repeat that around so this will be the last round for the smallest spike and I make two of those so after this round you'll need to finish off and cut your yarn and make sure you leave a tail for sewing if you're working on a medium or large spike, then you'll just keep going to the next rounds. finish off here with two single crochet and then join to finish that round again if you are working on a small spike then this would be where you would finish off your yarn you'll need two this size so we're going to continue to uh, round six You'll do one single crochet in the next five stitches and then two single crochet and we'll repeat that around 
five. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now we're going to do two single crochet here. And one single crochet in the next five. So this will be your last increase round for a medium size spike and I just created one this size. If you want to do it differently you're of course more than welcome to do that on your own project and if you want your spikes closer together or farther away or all big spikes or all small spikes or whatever you can be creative and do it however you'd like to do. Go ahead and finish off that round with a slip stitch. So I am going to keep going into a large spike. So I'm going to do round seven is going to be one single crochet in the next six stitches and then two single crochet in the next. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next six. There's two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to do two single crochet. Just join here and finish off that round. So here's what you have after seven rounds. We're going to do one more round. Round eight is going to be one single crochet in the next seven and then two single crochet in the next stitch and we'll repeat that around. And then we will have one large spike complete. Again, you're going to be doing one single crochet in the next seven stitches and then two single crochet and keep repeating that pattern all the way around. and then join to finish your round off. So there's our large spike. We're going to go ahead and finish off now and cut our tail. Make sure you leave plenty of room for sewing. Now this is going to go on your hat just like so. 
So I'm gonna, this is my large spike. I'm gonna do a large spike in the front, a large spike on top, and a couple on the back. And then I'll do a medium one down kind of on the tail and then two um, small ones down at the bottom. So they'll go big, medium to small. So first you wanna find the center of your hat. So you can do that by folding it in half and lining up everything. So here is the center front of my hat and I'm gonna sew my spike right here in the front. So go ahead and get your tapestry needle out and thread your tail. Find out where you want to place your hat and where you want to start. I'm going to go about right here and we're just kind of going to be whipping in and out. So I'm just going to go down through the hat and then over a stitch in that row and come back up and then I'm gonna go through that spike just picking up the top loops of that last single crochet here make sure you pick up both sides so that um, the spike is held flat it's very important if you only pick up one side the other side's gonna flop up and look really ridiculous so make sure to go through both sides before you then will go back down through the hat and you'll just continue sewing in this fashion make sure you pull everything nice and snug you'll just go back around and around and around all the way to the end and this is what your finished product will look like thank you for watching today and don't forget to like and subscribe